basically what's happening now is um, I'm going to show you guys how to take the top and make it a crop top. So basically I have two rulers, um, the 18 by 2 inch um, plastic braid rulers, which I'm going to use. These rulers I am going to use to measure across. As you can see, um, my shirt's a little damaged, that's why I'm also using it to upcycle. Um, and I'm just going to measure across. You can decide how short or how long you want your crop top. Um, I want mine pretty short as that's trendy right now, so I'm just going to literally take my ruler and just measure uh, crop set. So now we are actually ready to, um, we're actually ready to pin our layers together. So why are we pinning the layers together? We don't want it to move as we cut. So I'm going to pin on the opposite side of the line. Um, that way, because when you have layers together, like they will move as you cut. So just, I would say like every three to four inches. And then once you do that, you literally can just cut. All right, so now I'm just gonna cut right on my line. Definitely keep it straight. Right in the center of my line. So we have one part of uh, upcycling. So this will be our crop top. So basically, this was a leftover t-shirt that I had from my Bazinga t-shirt. And now actually, now we're ready to, um, it's, we cropped it. So now I basically want to make it more cubic. So the way we're going to do that is, um, it's already um, a medium and men's. So it's already going to have that cubic shape that we want when we put it on. But now I also want to get rid of these sleeves because the sleeves are kind of long. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come from the bottom of my armhole and I'm going to literally measure, I'm going to probably say maybe an inch out from the seam, like right there. And then we have that. Then I'm going to do the same thing make this maybe three inches and then I'm going to continue to draw my line so this is to give it more of a boxy shape and then I would literally come and do this to the other side so let's just do that to the other side And then I would pin my layers together and then cut. And this is a really quick process, so it's not going to take forever. Alright. So let's pin. So let's pin it. Because we once again it's a jersey, so like you know it will move. Just so your lines are not, you know, jag up. have a good pair of scissors. Take your time. Don't rush. So note that we will be turning this in about a half inch so it will get smaller. So when we turn it in, do you already see how it starts to get the cubic effect, which is very cool right now. And then you could also do something with, you know, these. Maybe even turn it into a rosette or something, or bracelets. So I'm just going to come and do the same thing to this side as well. And 
you could also do contrast binding. It literally is up to you. There's so much stuff that you can do. Um, literally, like, whatever you want. So now, <laughs> we're going to take these spins out, actually. I'm going to measure, um, I want to measure about a half inch so I can know how much to turn it in. And then I'm going to measure a half inch along the hem. So we're going to measure a half inch on the arms and on the hem and then we're going to turn it in and then we're going to sew. If you do want to add some other type of design like a stencil, even tie dyed it, you definitely can. So you should have something that looks like this. I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see. So you should have all of your arms pinned as well as your hem. So it should look like that. And then you could actually see this. You could actually see the shape coming together, how it's looking more boxy. So I'm actually going to start sewing my armholes as well as my hem. Basically, when we're sewing this, you want to stitch along. You can sew it at, since the seam allowance is a half inch, you can literally sew it um, you don't want to sew it at the half inch mark because you're not going to get it to be half inch is going to land at the end. It's not going to be, this is not going to be stitched down. So what you are going to want to do is you want to maybe do three quarters, excuse me, I'm sorry. You're going to want to do three eighths and then you can clip off the excess because three eighths will probably be like an eighth away from the edge. So you would definitely want to do something like that. So you can do three eighths, which is literally like right here. Or if you feel like it's too iffy, just do a quarter of an inch at the edge of your press of foot and just literally cut down the excess. So I have my sewing machine set up for three eighths of an inch. So this is my three eighth line right there. If you wanted to go to the edge of the press of foot, which is a quarter of an inch, you're more than welcome to do what's easier for you either way. Um, Whatever excess you have in the back, you're going to have to click the remaining. So you should have something that looks like this um, when you finish sewing it. And then you can see this is the excess that I was talking about. So this is the excess you're actually going to be cutting off. Um, also at the top as well, you're going to also just be cutting this off. Even though it's not as much, you're still going to want to cut it off. So that's just from sewing at 3 eighths of an inch. And you're just going to continue to do that through the whole garment. So now this is exactly what your shirt should look like. Now that you've sewn it, you can see the hem. So now we're just literally going to come and get rid of all this excess, even on the arms. There's excess on the arms, so we want to get rid of that. And then once you do that, you'll be ready to wear your shirt. It's good to go. Let's do it. So the way you want to do it, is you want to just cut as close as you can, like a sixteenth. The closer you can get it without cutting the actual seam, the better. So like a sixteenth. If it's too close to a sixteenth, then just do an eighth. But you want something that you want something that looks like this. So I have turned the shirt inside out so you could see exactly what it's supposed to look like. I'm just going to go closer so you can get a better idea. Um, so you definitely want to trim it so you can see like you don't really have that much excess. Or even on the hem, you want it to look like a real t-shirt. You also can do the double stitch as well. So I only did a single stitch, so this is what it will look like on the right side of the shirt. Just a single stitch, but you can do another stitch on top of that if you would like. It's totally up to you. I just want it to keep it more simple. So I'm going to turn it inside out or right side in so you can see exactly what it looks like. So this is the right side as you can see. Um, I don't think I'm going to do anything to it. I have the mentality right now where less is more. Um, and I really do like this pink. So once again just zooming in. 
Um, so just so you can see the stitching, single stitch. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try it on for you guys so you can see exactly what it looks like. So, once again, thank you guys for watching. I totally appreciate it. This is the top. Check it out. I think it's very cute. I'm a big fan of pink. And it's very cubic. This is what I mean by cubic. Nice and boxy. Which is very in right now. And you could also start with a very cool hat or some very cool heaven pants, which I got on right now. Um, I think it's very cool for the summer. You can also wear it in the winter with something over it. Totally up to you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much.